drive down low. And for the Nuggets, the backcourt is Murray and Harris. At the forward slots, it's Barton and Milson. And it's Jokic in at the five, roaming the paint. Rogic dishes to Butler. Shoots over Barton. That one a little long. Well, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Millsap passes to Murray. Jokic kicks to Millsap. Second chance shot. Deep two from Murray. Denver with a new 14. Goes up with it again. Goes up again. And Jokic lays it up and in. You know, Millsap has no issues giving the ball up to the open man. Excellent awareness there. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, I did speak with head coach Eric Spolstra. He told me one thing they can't lose sight of is Nikola Jokic's skill as a passer. He said it's easy to forget how good a distributor he is. Give him passing lanes, you wouldn't give him other bigs. We can't overplay him and let him create easy baskets. And for the Nuggets, the backcourt is Murray and Harris. Millsap and Jokic, the big men. And it's Barton in at the three spot. Now here's Butler. And a miss there on the triple. And, and taken with the 30th pick back in 2011. Butler went from 15th man in Chicago riding the end of the bench to franchise player in the course of four seasons. Nice effort taking the early lead. Here we go. Ah, take a nice deep breath. You score on that first possession. Gets the game started the right way. And Adebayo throws it down. And nice court vision from Dragic there to get a great look at the bucket. And Greg, it seemed in Chicago and Minnesota, maybe Jimmy Butler wore out his welcome. Philadelphia, they had him. They had to juggle multiple stars. But, man, Miami, they oh, oh, the power on that throw down. Goodness. Unreal. Oh, Jimmy, that was impressive. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Jimmy's an interesting person. and Jokic, the big man. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. And it's Barton in at the three spot. Outside Butler. Robinson passes to Autobio. Out left to the wing. Six to shoot. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Pretty tall point guard. Goran Dragic sees the entire floor. Terrific look. And you talk about guys who play with that chip on their shoulder. Bam Adebayo has not forgotten he was cut from the U.S. national team in 2019. And Greg, in fact, he told those close to him they will pay a little extra motivation. Fuel for the fire. Out to Harris. Pass to Murray. Right side, Millsap. Back to Murray. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. And the foul on Jamal Murray. That is his first foul of the game. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. First for the Rockets. Russell Westbrook out there with Harden. They've got P.J. Tucker. Tonight, we'll see him work to establish that all-important presence under the glass. And looking at the Nuggets, and it's Grant in at the four. Murray, the pass for Grant. Yes! Second shot opportunity, and the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. And the Rockets with possession here. Harden kicks to House. Cans it from downtown. House has got his first three points of the game. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Houston found their way back into the playoffs last season, but really it wasn't because they were a tough team on the road. They only had 16 wins away from Houston last season. Now here's Westbrook. The three from Harden. It's rebounded by Murray. 
Again, Doris Burke spoke with Mike Malone. Doris? I asked him what he thought would be the key for them, and he told me dealing with the penetration of Russell Westbrook. He's one of the most explosive athletes in the game. We've got to send him to hell and rotate early to deny him finishes at the rim. Guys, that's never easy. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. Jacks up a three. That one goes. Count it. And Clark, as you were talking about, the Rockets weren't nearly as troublesome to teams last year when they found themselves in Davis in the four. And for the Nuggets, and it's Grant in at the four spot. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D. I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. And so the Denver Nuggets get the first points of the ballgame. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. <laughs> and that's the play we're going to remember when this game is all said and done. You know, a big reason that the Nuggets were able to finish with the third best record in the West last season was they took care of business in the Western Conference. I mean, they went in every game against a conference opponent knowing what was on the line and handled business from there. Now here's LeBron. And McGee kicks to LeBron. Good on the triple. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option. First for the Spurs. And they've got LaMarcus Aldridge, the former number two big out of Texas, standing tall in the middle at 6'11". Then it's DeRozan. And looking at the Nuggets. And it's Grant in at the four slot. So it's Denver now. Here's Jukic. Missed inside. Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I, I guess the defense did what it had to do to bother him. Well, I think this is one of the more amazing stats in sports when you think about it. No matter the season or the roster, the Spurs just seem to find ways to win 50 games. They've done it 14 straight seasons now, which is off the charts. Murray, good. Well, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. On defense, the Nuggets. It's a three-point game. Doubled by Grant. Takes a three. No luck. Now let's find out what head coach Mike Malone had to say to Doris Burke. Doris? He talked about the respect he has for the game of LaMarcus Aldridge and how tough it will be for them to slow him down, saying Aldridge is tough because he can score facing up or with his back to the basket. And with his length, it's tough to bother his shot. We'll look to deny him the ball when we can and just try to make it as hard as possible every touch. Kevin will see how successful they are. And as always, Doris, thank you. And Clark, as you said, the Spurs last season hit the